This video will cover how to calibrate your pH meter, take a reading in the field, and do your post sample check. You will need your buffer pillow packets, either 4 and 7 or 7 and 10. Just make sure you use the pH buffers that bracket your normal reading. Your pH meter. Try to soak your meter in buffer 4 solution for about 30 minutes prior to calibration. Two beakers of water filled to the 50 mil line and a cup of water or a squeeze bottle to rinse your probe. Take the cap off your probe and press the power button to turn it on. Go ahead and place your probe in the seven buffer solution and allow it to stabilize. The first thing we're going to do is record the bottom number on the screen as our temperature on our data sheet. Then we're going to press the left button, Cal, to enter calibration mode. The bottom number should now say 7.00, registering that the probe is in buffer 7 solution. The number on the top will be near 7, but most likely not exact. When this number has stabilized, press the right button, Enter, or ENT, to save this calibration point. Record the number that flashes on the top of your screen after you press Enter on your data sheet under Pre-Sample Calibration for Buffer 7. Rinse your probe thoroughly in either a cup of water or squeeze bottle, then place the probe into your next solution, either 4 or 10. Here we're using 10, so you'll see that the bottom of the meter is now reading 10.01. Just like before, allow your reading to stabilize. When this number is stable, press the right button, ENT, to save your second calibration point. Record the number that flashes on your screen, then rinse your probe, replace the cap, and press the power button to turn off your meter. When you are ready to take your pH reading in the field, turn your meter on, remove the cap, and place the probe in your bucket or directly into the stream. Allow this reading to stabilize, which may take a few minutes. Once it is stabilized, record your reading, which is the top number on your screen, directly on your data sheet. After you have taken your field reading, we have to perform a post-sample check to make sure your probe has not drifted at all. Turn your meter on and place it in your 7 buffer and allow it to stabilize. Here we're not entering any calibrations, just taking a reading of our buffer solutions. Our readings here must be within 2 tenths of the standard solution. If your pH field reading was not within the calibration values you used, perform a post-sample check with all three buffer solutions. Record your temperature on your data sheet and your reading of buffer 7. Rinse your probe and do the same for buffer 10. To store your probe, place a small piece of paper towel in the bottom of your cap with a small amount of buffer 4 solution or household vinegar to keep it hydrated. 